Hey everyone, so uh, I was just uh, rearranging this room a little bit now that I'm done with the TV war stuff. So I got this, uh, yeah, the Sony Trinitron moved down. I've got the Mitsubishi here, just kind of pushing it back into place. And yeah, I was thinking about doing a more permanent uh, re repair on this um, power cord here. So I got this TV from my grandpa, and the cord was uh, cut. I don't know if it got cut when. Uh, we were moving it or what but anyway originally what i did is i just uh, i took the the two leads the two cords and then just uh, soldered them together um, and then just put electrical tape around it and then put electrical tape around that too and i was taking this off because i actually have some let me go grab it real quick hold on yeah so you can see here i got this uh, uh hink shrink tubing set that i bought on amazon so yeah, these are pretty cool. You put these around the these little tubes around the wires and then you uh, heat them up. And yeah, it should make a pretty good connection here. So I don't know, it wasn't really necessary because I mean this has been working, but it's kind of like a poor man's way of doing it. So yeah, let me uh, take off the rest of this electrical tape. Okay, and I forgot to mention, this is unplugged. So make sure you unplug before you start if you're using this tutorial. These, these CRTs carry a lot of voltage, so yeah, just, uh, even when they're unplugged, they still carry a lot of voltage, but you should be okay just working on the power cable. But yeah, unplug the TV before you start cutting stuff. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the video. You see, I do have it unplugged. This is the end of the Mitsubishi cord, but anyway. Okay, and then you can see here I got the, uh, let's see if I can focus it on here. So yeah, so I got the electrical tape off, and then... Yeah, you can see I just, I just put a little bit of solder on here before. Um, I didn't even actually do that good of a job. and Like, it's not all the way covered. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this has been working fine. And actually, to tell you the truth, um, what I've done on other cords that I've had to repair <laughs> is uh, um, I've actually just twisted the wires together and then put electrical tape around it. I didn't even solder them, and it still works. I still have a bunch of cords I use like that. Uh, but yeah, what, what we're going to do, though, is I'm actually going to take I'm going to clip these and then I'm going to re-solder them and then yeah and then use one of these so, yeah let's, let me set that up real quick okay went and gathered some of my uh, soldering uh, supplies just to show what I'm using so uh, of course we have our the um, the actual sol uh, the solder here so you can see and this is this has a rosin core inside of it for uh, it has flux inside of it so I won't need to apply any flux. Um, yeah, flux is just is just something that makes the solder uh, adhere to the metal and uh, yeah, kind of um, makes it so it doesn't oxidize super fast. So you get a clean job. And then got some wire cutters here, uh, and then and then right here you can. This is uh, the soldering iron. Uh, well, it's the the part that has the power. You can see the there's this DIN connector. So we're gonna plug this in. See, kind of looks like an S video cable. S video is another type of DIN connector. All right, and then yeah, and then here's the actual iron. Uh, this one's really nice, by the way. Um, I'll leave a link for it in the description. But I used to just have a cheap one where the the iron would literally just plug into the wall. It would just heat up like a curling iron. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one's a lot nicer, and like you can set the temperature, and yeah, and it saves your settings. Um, yeah, and then there's this over here for. Uh, You'll see when we, uh, um, yeah, you just put water in there and then, yeah, it's not turned on yet, but yeah, when it's on, you always want to have it in there so it doesn't, um, yeah, heat up because, yeah, the thing gets super hot. Yeah, so it doesn't, so you don't, you don't want to, like, start a fire or anything. <laughs> um, let's see here, what else? Oh, yeah, and then, I, I actually don't think we're going to use this, but this is the electrical tape I used before. Um, and then I have a, uh, lighter for, um, uh, for when we do the heat shrinking tube. Um, oh, and then I almost forgot the most, well, oh, sorry, two things. <laughs> so then there's this helping hand. We'll put the cords on here. Uh, yeah, these are super helpful. I'll, le I'll leave a link for these two things in the description. Um, oh, and then also uh, most important thing, safety first, glasses. All right, so here we have our two wires. So yeah, this is my job I did before. So I'm actually just going to clip these off with the wire cutters. So this is basically the way I the way I had it before uh, before I did my quick job. 
And then got these ones over here. There go. Okay. All right. So now they're separate. Uh, now, when we put these back together, this is a, this is extremely important if you're going to try to do this by yourself. Um, so one of these is negative and one is positive, obviously, for the wires. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure that um, whichever whichever one is marked in some way is usually the positive lead, and then this one's negative. Um, I'm not. I haven't actually tested it, but I, that's usually how markings work, from what I understand. But anyway, just the most important thing to do, you don't actually have to know which one is positive and negative. You just want to make sure that these uh, lines match up. So yeah, make sure that the little, you know, just, just that the markings match up basically. Because yeah, if you, if you like reverse them, so if you did this, then yeah, that would be really bad. <laughs> yeah, you, you would, at least you would break your TV probably and who knows what else would happen. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to set these up on the helping hand, and then we'll actually uh, solder it together. Oh, actually, sorry, before we do that, I almost forgot. So we're going to take our wire cutters real quick here. And I'm just going to take off some of this extra wire so we can have a nice, clean part to, uh, here we go, to solder together. There's that one. Yeah, you don't want to push too hard on these wires. You you want to do just enough so you can get through the plastic, but then you don't actually want to cut the copper. This one's a little tricky. There we go. Yeah, so there's that one. And then I'll do this one too. Uh, yeah, but I won't make you watch me do this one. Okay, now I'm going to, I'll do this one, and then I'll put it up on the helping hand. Yeah, so actually on this one, I actually cut a little bit too hard. You can see it kind of uh, cut the cut the copper a little bit. Um, yeah, this was a second cord, so I'm actually I don't know. It's it's probably fine to tell you the truth. So I think I'm I, I'll probably just leave it. But if you wanted to, um, you could clip these off and then just do it again. But I actually don't think I really cut too much there. Well, I guess there's a few. Yeah, maybe I will. So yeah, if that happens to you. You can just go like this and just start over. So I'll just cut these little pieces off here. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll just do this again. And yeah, I'm just careful of this side to more careful not to cut through the copper. There we go. And then you can see now this side's uh, shorter than this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this one as well, just so they're the same length. Yeah, you don't want to cut too much of the cord because obviously, you know, you only have one power cord. But yeah, a few inches isn't going to really make a difference. There's a little piece of, I guess I didn't make you watch. So actually, see, I actually had a few come off on there too, but I think that's okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Just as long as the TV turns on, then it should be okay. Okay. Here we go, now they're roughly the same size again. Okay, now I'm gonna, uh, oh, and actually, let's see, before we do that, just before I forget, because this will mess this up if we don't do it first. Hold on, let me grab one of these tubes. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of looking at the different sizes here, and yeah, I ended up picking this one. I'm gonna use this one, and I'm gonna use another one too, but this one, uh, I'm actually gonna take, whoops, I wanna take the whole thing off. Okay, oh, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, this is something I didn't didn't want to forget to do. Otherwise, I'd have to redo stuff. But anyway, I'm actually gonna take this because. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tube around this and a tube around this, and then I'll and then I'll yeah do a separate connection for these two to the other end, and then I'm gonna take this yellow one, and then I'll and then I'll do it around everything. So then everything's just all together. But anyway, I just wanted to 
because yeah because if I already connected these then I couldn't get this yellow thing back on here so I just wanted to remember to do that before <laughs> I start connecting these other wires uh, but yeah anyway let's uh, go on to the helping hand okay here we have the I'm just connecting these wires here to the helping hand so uh, yeah oh another thing too don't feel bad about uh, tearing these apart because um, yeah it doesn't yeah they can be torn apart okay and then let's see here yeah and then make sure you got your symbols matching so this one has the white and then this one has the little text running along it let's see if we can yeah we can see yeah, I can see the text down here so yeah um, so yeah anyway then I'm just gonna kind of push these wires together and just kind of twist them Just kind of twist these together just like that and make a good connection there. All right. Yeah. Oh, haha. <laughs> see, I just did my, I just made my mistake that I didn't want to make, but luckily it's, I haven't soldered anything yet. Uh, we want to put on this uh, little tube here first. Actually, I'm going to pick a slightly bigger one because these will go down in size. There we go. This one looks pretty good. So yeah, let's take this apart. Stick this on here. Yeah, these helping hands are very helpful. <laughs> okay, let me hold on. Let me pause the video while I get this set up. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I got the these things on here, the tubes, and now I'm gonna push these wires again together. Kind of, yeah. There you go. And then just kind of twist them a little bit so it's together. Together. There we go. All right. Now, let's see here. And then, and yeah, turn on this uh, soldering iron. There go. All right. Give that a second. So see, it's set to 600. That's pretty good. I found for heating up solder. So yeah, you can see it heats up super fast too. That's this is in uh, Fahrenheit. Pretty sure I had it set to Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, I, I set this up a while ago. So you know, once that's what I like about this. Once you set it up, it saves your settings. Um, but yeah, anyway. So now it's at 600. So now the tip of this soldering iron is extremely hot. Okay, and yeah, I'm gonna grab my safety glasses, put those on, and take them off before because it kind of makes everything dark. But yeah, when you're soldering, that's when you want to have safety. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna grab a little bit of this uh, uh, flux field uh, soldering uh, or solder. Yeah, that's just. Yeah, you can see it there. I'm just going to break off a piece of it. Okay, there we go. I just have a little wire there. All right. Oops. This is kind of tricky to do with the camera. Okay, so then yeah, just... Oops. Yeah, so what you want to do is uh, you heat up the wire here. There's, I don't know, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Oh, I almost forgot. Something I like about this, uh, this helping hand um, is that it has a light on it. And it has a magnifying glass. So yeah, you can see that here. So I'm just going to turn on this light. kind of makes things a lot easier to deal with. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, so now I can now we can see better. Okay. So yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, people do this different ways. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm just gonna heat up. Let me twist this together a little bit more so it's all together. That's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna heat up this uh, copper wire here, and then. I'm going to uh, put the solder on. And actually, I think 
I think I'm actually going to turn off this light just because it's kind of messing up the... I think I think it's actually coming up on the camera better with the light off, and I can see it okay, so I think it'll be fine. But yeah, the light is super helpful in the magnifying glass when you're working on like small PCBs and stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to heat this wire up, and then I'm just going to, yeah, apply some of this solder here. Yeah, and obviously if you touch it to the to the iron, then yeah, it just goes right in there. Let's kind of make a good connection on this. Yeah, it kind of takes a while here, but yeah, just yeah, and you just want to be careful not to obviously touch the, you know, the the rubber on the cord because that will, um, yeah, melt it really quickly. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to get a bunch of this on here. So anyway, I'm gonna pause the video while I do this because it kind of takes a while. Okay, I just I'd show this real quick because you can see how there's smoke coming off here. Uh, if you see smoke, that's okay. It's just the flux inside of the solder that's um, uh, just burning. And yeah, it just creates that yeah, nice and clean connection. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it all over. Okay. Yeah, so you can see I got in there. And then, and then over here, yeah, so on... Yes, this is important too. I got this thing wet. This is a wet sponge. Uh, but yeah, you just want to clean off some of the old solder every once in a while. You can put in this thing too if you want. Yeah, just so you have a nice clean tip when you're working. Yeah, let's set this camera again here. Yeah, this is looking pretty good on this side. I think I'm going to turn it over and make sure we've got enough on the other side yeah let's do that okay so I'm just turning the wire over here put this in the helping hand so yeah you can see on this other side uh, yeah we need to add more flux so yeah it's kind of yeah and this stuff cools pretty quickly too so um, yeah anyway More on this side here. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I used to think that uh, electronics were like this big, you know, mystery. But yeah, it's actually really not too... Well, I mean, it is... I mean, you do have to learn about it. It definitely is something you have to learn. But yeah, once you kind of learn about it it's yeah it's pretty cool and it's not too hard to make repairs on stuff like this clean off this little sponge again all right so yeah it's looking pretty good i think we we made a pretty solid connection here i'm just gonna add a little bit more on some spots that i'm seeing yeah another thing too is uh when you do the flux you want to get the kind like the Ross and you want to get Ross and flux because it uh, um, it doesn't actually it it, uh, it it doesn't have a, it doesn't corrode the wires there's some other corrosive fluxes that yeah I think they I don't know use for other stuff but let's see what this looks like now okay yeah so see now we've, yeah I think we got one more side and then I think we're and this is really it's I think it's overkill like I said before, I've I've done wires before where I just literally just twist them together and they're fine. But yeah, I just I do the soldering just because I really like this TV and I want to take good care of it. Let's see here. There we go. All right, we pause the video while I set this up. Okay, there we go. All right, see, so yeah, I just have this little strip here.
And you just want to be careful not to get your hand too close to the iron. It's just like, you know, touching a... Well, it's probably hard, hotter than a... Well, I don't know if it's hotter than a hot stove, but yeah, you just... You don't want to touch it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, I think that's looking pretty good. Yeah. So I think I'm, I think we're ready to go on to the next cord here. Okay. All right. Okay. Want to, yeah. So uh, actually, before I do the next cord, I think I'm actually I'm just gonna do the heat uh, the uh, what do you call it this uh, this tubing stuff um, heat shrink tube. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think what it was called there. Yeah. Let's uh let me just pause the video and get the everything set up to do that. Okay, here we go. So yeah, so yeah, so this is why you want to put this tube on here before, because otherwise, yeah, I don't know how you'd get it back on here. Uh but yeah, anyway, you just want to have it so it's just basically uh just covering right here in the middle. So yeah, just pretty well centered. And then I guess that there's different ways you can do this. Um I'm just going to set this up on the helping hand real quick. Uh, but yeah, I see. So yeah, basically you just have to heat it up and then it will uh, get, it will just uh, shrink around your connection here. Yeah, so that's pretty good, I think. Um, I know people, uh, I think a lot of people use, like, if like they have, like, heating guns and stuff like that. Um, I have a, <laughs> my wife has a hair dryer. You try doing that, but actually, uh, it should just work with a, just a regular lighter. Um, so yeah, let me move this helping hand down here a little bit. There we go. So yeah, Let's see if I can get this on the camera. Yeah, so you can see just kind of see how it's getting small. And you obviously, you don't want to do it too much to where it's you know. Uh, yeah, you don't want to like burn the cable, but yeah, you can see how it's just going right around. So yep, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, nice, uh, nice firm connection here. Yep. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So now, um, I won't actually film this one, but I'm gonna uh, do this one the exact same thing, and then uh, yeah, and then we'll come back, and then I'll put everything together. So, yep, here we go. Okay, so yeah, so I got, as you can see on here, I got this other one uh, soldered. Yeah, see all that on there? Again, it's, it's, you know, it's not like perfectly smooth, but it's fine for just connecting two wires. Um, yeah, just something I wanted to show real quick. So I actually didn't get this one completely centered. You can see it's a little bit close. It's more on this side than this side. It's okay because it's still, you know, protected. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just want to kind of watch this one. So I'm going to feel with my fingers here. Just kind of feel where the cord ends and where it begins. Let's see, it needs to go over a little bit. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer. See, so yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, so I think that might be a little bit better now. Anyway, whoops, let's focus this. There we go. Okay. So now we'll burn this one here. Yeah, now, now you just want to be careful since the cords are together. Uh, you just want to, yeah, make sure you don't burn the other cable. There we go. See how it's coming together pretty well there. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to do this one just a little bit more as well. Yeah. And then, let's see here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And actually, just to be, just to double check, um, I'm just going to turn this around real quick just to make sure that we're heating up both sides. I don't know. Well, yeah, it's probably better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, you just want to be careful not to heat it up too much. But yeah, I think this will be good to just double check the other side here. There we go. There's the first cord and here's the second one. Yeah, it looks like it was pretty good before. Okay. All right, so that's that. Okay, so now... Um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so I, I think that it's probably, uh, good just the way it is, and if I plugged it in, um, I think it would be just fine. 
but I, I just want to, like, I'm seeing there's a few, like, stuff here that's pointing through from where the solder was a little uneven. So um, this, this step is probably a little unnecessary, but I'm just to be just to be safe that there's no connection between these two, I'm just going to put some electrical tape around here. So, yeah, I'm just going to break off a little bit of here. Let me pause the video while I do this. Okay, yeah, broke off some electrical tape. I'm just going to put it just around where there was a broken wire. So, yeah, again, I'm probably like 90% sure this is unnecessary, maybe 85%, 85.76% probably, uh, because yeah, this this uh, shrink stuff should be pretty well insulated, but yeah, I just, you know, again, I just, I really like this TV and I don't want to have it break if the, yeah, positive may reach the negative wire, so yeah. That should be pretty well insulated there, <laughs> more so than needed. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to this one. Okay, there we go. I put a little bit of electric, electrical tip around the uh, this wire as well. Yeah, and actually looking at this, so see, I actually didn't get them 100% um, even. You can see how this one's a little bit longer, so they're not right next to each other. Uh, that's okay. So yeah, when you do it, if you end up doing something like this, maybe just work on uh, getting them even. Anyway, now let's, uh, let's, oh boy, now with this electrical tape, I actually don't know if this is going to fit. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, boy, I might have to take off this electrical tape after all. Okay, let me pause the video, see if I can get this to fit over here. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I just took off the electrical tape off of this wire. Um, because yeah, just as long as one of them has electrical tape, I think we should be good. I mean, <laughs> like I said before, we'd probably be good without either of them having electrical wires since we put the sink on, or the tubing stuff on there, but yeah. Anyway, I should have picked a, a bigger, um, tube instead of this yellow one. I should have picked probably the red one that's thicker. Yeah, this is way too thick. <laughs> Anyway, let me pause the video while I get this on here. Okay, boy, that was a bear to get on. Yeah, so make sure, uh, so see, I should have picked this uh, bigger <laughs> red cable. I Yeah, I didn't think about, because uh, I wasn't really planning on uh, putting on uh, electrical tape over the, the two wires in there. But yeah, anyway, now it's super tight. It probably doesn't even need to <laughs> be heated up, really. But um, I'll do it anyway, just for... I don't know, I guess it's still loose around here. By the way, after, like, I feel like a boa constrict constrictor eating a mouse or something, but yeah, it was, like, really hard to get over this. Um, but yeah, look, so with all that, like, pulling and stuff, it actually made the cable, <laughs> it kind of took out some of that where it was uneven. And yeah, anyway, let's just heat this up real quick. Yeah, so it is kind of going down and fitting onto there. Let's, see, let's turn it around and do this side. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and there you have it. Should be a pretty good connection there. So yeah, now let's uh let's try plugging it in and see if I did a good job. It looks like we got the, the wires correct here, so yeah, let's uh Let's plug it in. All right, here's the moment of truth. Got our Mitsubishi cord here. You can see the, the repair that we did on it. And let's uh, plug it into, well, I guess we might as well plug it into TV. Here it is, TV. Okay, turn this on. All right, I heard the degausser. Let's push the power button. I hope this works. Ooh, look at that. Wait a second for the tube to warm up. All right, the power was interrupted, but that's okay. There you have it. <laughs> that's how, so yeah, if you if you have an old CRT TV that has a broken power cable, um, don't throw it away because they're relatively easy to fix. 
yeah so there you go and i'll leave the link to this in in the description for uh like the helping hand and the soldering iron and yeah solder that stuff but yeah anyway yeah and then the tubing as well but yeah there you go we'll see you in the next video bye